Hi, this is Rich Weekly, Barthorpe Electric. This video I want to show you, we're going to build a function block section. Tools, Project Browser. So we've, we've got a ladder section of a three wire start that we did in a previous video. I'm going to open that one. Because what we're going to do is we're going to write this same logic in a, a function block section just so you can see if you're not used to function block or uh, don't know the language at all and but you do know ladder we'll see this same uh, logic just in a different language so from the project browser so I go down to sections under program I'm under the master task and then sections I'm going to add a new section and we'll call this just FB underscore section. Now for this language, now I'm going to select FBD, which is function block diagram. I'm going to select that instead. Say OK. That's going to add a function block section. Okay, I'm going to open the ladder section and then I'm going to tile these horizontally so we can look at the ladder and go reference that ladder but then program the same exact code uh, just in a different language down in this box so the first thing we're going to look at here is this first line so I have to have the stop push button and the start push button in order to get motor one energized so that would be an AND block so to select the function blocks, I go right click, data selection, or I can do control D. Now I can go and look through all the function blocks that are available. So for this library, I happen to be using version 8 right now. And we could go down through this list and you can see all these function blocks that are available. Okay. Well, I know I need an AND block. So in this case, I'm just going to type AND. And it'll bring up an AND block for me. Now these blocks, just a quick note, these any of these uh, elementary function blocks that I bring up, if they have this black uh, square on the bottom or filled in, that means I can actually drag those and make an adjustment depending on how many inputs I have. Okay. Well, in this case, I only have the two. So if we go back and look at our ladder section, we want the stop push button and the start push button to energize motor one. So I'm going to click on just one of the pins and I'm going to add the stop push button. Now I'm just going to use the same variables just because they're in there already. The start push button and then I'm going to put that output's going to be motor one. Okay. So if I go back and look at this, that's the first, the top line, the stop push button and the start push button. The output's going to be motor one. Okay. Well, if I come back, I have this parallel circuit here, or this hold in and ladder, and that's an or function because I can have the start push button or motor one. So if I want to add that, uh, it's on the start push button. I go right click again, data selection. This is an OR block, OR. And you can see this is an elementary function block that has that. I can make that adjustment as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this start push button because it's going to go on a pin over here. And our motor one is going to go on a pin over here. Okay. And now I'm going to join these. So you can see up here in the left hand corner, this squiggly line is a link. So I'm going to link that to that. Okay. 
So now if I go tile these again, and make an adjustment there. So this is the same exact circuit in function block. And here it is in ladder. So I have this and this will make this true. Or motor one. Okay. So start button, push button or motor one will make that true. So just a, a, the same circuit in a different language. Um, the other thing, if I, uh, with Unity, because it's uh, the ands and the ors are structured text statements, really, I can put both of these. I don't have to have this block. We can actually make statements on the pin in function block. So I could delete this block and I could say start push button or motor underscore one okay. and that would do the same thing too if I didn't want to you know actually show the logic sometimes this is a little harder to trace until guys get used to the fact in unity that we can do these these uh, structured text statements right on a pin and I'll have, I'll have some other videos to go a little more in detail with that I just wanted to show you that that was uh, that was doable uh, if it wanted to make it easier for somebody to trace you might uh, just leave it like this so uh, and I'll, I'm gonna leave these two sections I'll actually uh, do another video with these sections and and uh, we'll, we'll show a structured text section where we do the same type logic in uh, in structured text so uh, that was it for uh, this little video, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you later. Thanks.